But there are also treatable types of dementia, because again, dementia, those are the symptoms and the behaviors, right? When I say treatable or pseudo or faux, that means those behaviors are occurring due to a situation that can be treated or addressed. If there is a change in behavior, the confusion, the forgetfulness, the memory loss, the irritability, first thing I'm gonna say as a gerontologist, licensed social worker, have they started any new medications? Right? And when I say have they started any new medications, I mean within the last week, two weeks, or three weeks, because it takes time to get in your system. Then I'm gonna ask, are there any interactions between the medication? Are they fighting against each other? Because what happens is, as we get older, we have more doctors, we have specialists, and all the doctors are not talking to each other, and they may double up on different medications that do the same things. This is how you get around that, because a lot of times you probably can't get to the doctor, but you can get to your pharmacist. I always recommend that people go to the same pharmacist, so that way it can be managed better. If the pharmacist sees something, they should say something, but they don't always say something. But when you go to pick up a new medication, ask the pharmacist, can you do a reconciliation? If you can't say that word right like my mama, I just tell her to say, tell them to check it. Check it to make sure the medications are not fighting against each other. And if they are, and if they will, what type of symptoms would I see? What type of behavior changes would I see?